learning to regress 3D face shape and expression from an image without 3D supervision. Our key observation is that an individual's 3D face shape is constant across images, regardless of expression, pose, lighting, etc. But the 3D face shape differs between people. We formulate this observation as a 3D shape consistency loss in an end-to-end -end training framework where we use multiple images of the same person under varying conditions and constrain their shape to be the same for those images. We also exploit the fact that different people have different 3D shapes. Consequently, the ringnet loss simultaneously enforces that images of the same person should have the same shape, while that shape should be different for an image of a different person. To exploit these observations, we need to be able to compare 3D head shape independent of facial expression. To that end, we use the FLAY model as the decoder, which factors head shape, articulated pose and facial expressions. With our assumption about face shape, we are able to train RingNet using only 2D landmarks as supervision. The 3D landmarks on the predicted mesh are projected into 2D to compute the landmark loss. A correct 3D face shape will project to the correct 2D landmarks in different views. Please note that 2D landmarks are only used during training. During inference, we do not use landmarks. RingNet infers the flame parameters directly from image pixels. Here we show ringnet reconstructions for faces in the wild. One can observe that ringnet is quite robust over a wide variation of pose, expression, occlusion, lighting and resolution. However, ringnet is not very sensitive to the cropping of the head region. Note that we use a gender-neutral flame model for prediction. To illustrate the results, we fade in and fade out of the predicted mesh overlay on top of the original images. One can pause the video and scrub forward or backward to check how accurate the overlays are. The transparent overlay enables one to see both the geometry and how well this geometry aligns with image features. Evaluating the accuracy of 3D face estimation methods remains a challenge and despite many methods that have been published, there are no rigorous comparisons of 3D accuracy across a wide range of imaging conditions, poses, lighting and occlusion. To address this, we created a benchmark dataset containing ground truth scans with face images for 3D face reconstructions of in the wild images. The dataset contains 2,054 2D images of 100 subjects with wide variations in pose, expression, occlusion, resolution, and lighting. We divide the captured images in four different challenges as shown here. We also provide a standard evaluation metric to measure the accuracy and robustness of 3D face reconstruction methods under variations in viewing angle, lighting and common occlusions. More details of the data and challenge can be found on our website. We show the reconstruction results of our method on highly occluded images with varying pose. The images are taken from our now benchmark dataset. We fade in and fade out of the predicted mesh on top of the original images. Here we compare RingNet qualitatively with four state-of-the-art methods. The images are taken from the Celeb A dataset. While RingNet and PRNet are both robust to variations in head pose, lighting conditions and partial occlusions, RingNet provides visually better reconstructions of facial shape and expression. While 3D MMCNN also shows robustness to varying conditions, it only reconstructs the facial shape and not the facial expression. Other methods like Extreme 3D or Pix to Vertex reconstruct unrealistic faces for extreme head poses, extreme lighting conditions or low image resolution. Compared to these methods, RingNet qualitatively reconstructs facial shape and expression better and is more robust to extreme head poses, partial occlusions and different lighting conditions. Here we show some failure cases of RingNet. Our method fails for extreme poses and expressions distorted aspect ratios, extreme occlusion, or when the image is not of a human face. Let's have some fun now. Can you recognize the following people? We collected all the 132 area and general chairs of the CVPR 2019 from the CVPR website and reconstructed their faces. Image resolutions were low, only 140 by 140 pixels. 
The images were not tightly cropped. We provided them as input to our network as they are shown here. RigNet correctly localizes and reconstructs the faces. We introduced now a benchmark for the task of 3D face reconstruction from single images and RingNet a novel 3D face reconstruction method, which firstly leverages shape consistency across images, secondly is robust towards varying viewing angles, occlusions, lighting conditions, expressions and image resolution, and thirdly does not require tightly cropped face images. Thank you. Please find the link to the code and benchmark dataset below.